guys, welcome to another vlog. It's been an interesting couple of days for riding, and I figured I would uh, post another video. Um, the other day, I, I swear to God, I, for now, new rule is I'm going to keep a working camera on the bike at all times. It was one of those situations where I turned into a side street sharply, probably doing about maybe 25 or 30. <laughs> okay, okay, I was, I, I admit, I was going a little too fast. And just a black Honda coming around the corner at the same time. And we met. I, either one of us saw each other until it was too late. <laughs> and I had to, he stopped and turned. And I had to go around this way on the sidewalk. And then since I panicked, my thumb got stuck on the thumb throttle. So I all of a sudden hit full throttle. And the bike is insanely fast and torquey. It took me up on the grass on the side of the road, across two lawns, just missing cars, doing about 20. <laughs> and then I skidded off and was back onto the sidewalk and ends up the, the road past the car that I almost hit. And I was like, what the f just happened? <laughs> um, it would have been brutal. I would have went right into the guy's windshield because um, the car was so low. But uh, that was fun. A lot of squealing tires. Should have had the camera. Anyway, uh, today the, well, you saw the battery pack went flying off the bike. And I figured we'd make a video and pull it apart. That's uh, got some really nice gashes in it. I uh, figured we'd take a look at it and see how well it held up, considering this is, this is uh, all handmade. So, I mean, it should have flew apart. The way I looked behind me and it was spinning in midair and it was oh it was tumbling like crazy. I'm really surprised it didn't uh, break. But like it is somewhat charging. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out the charger and um, pull it apart. We're gonna find a new way to mount it on the bike because obviously the idea that I had is not working out. I was surprised the zipper's frozen. <laughs> Give me a minute to open it up. If I can't find anything. Probably a good thing I used this really thick Lexan on the sides. It might it help with the uh, strength. I don't see any popped welds or anything. What I'm looking really looking for is a dented can, which won't, won't be too bad. It's got a nice gash there. Oh, it just, that can almost got hit. It just hit the very edge. Didn't bend it. Didn't bend it at all. Well, it did bend it a little bit. Not enough that it's, I need to worry about. Wow, I cannot get over. This thing is a tank. When you 3D print everything and glue it together, it's uh, it's pretty much a tank. Plus another piece of Alexa. But uh, I gotta find another way to mount it on the bike. Obviously, the way I was doing it wasn't cutting it. I cannot get the over. This thing is not heavily damaged. It should be, and it's heavy. You know, it's a lot of a lot of metal here. Not even there. That's fine. That's been chipped off for a while. That's why I put some Tapcon tape over it. But yeah. Wow. Cool. I don't have to measure that. I think that's pretty cool that that survived. The thing's a tank. <clears throat> it should be partially destroyed. If I had um, used the store-bought uh, cell holders, it would have just destroyed itself. Uh, another battery that we I want to do a quick update on are these. These are running amazing. Um, I was expecting, obviously, balance problems with the BMS, which I'm not having. It's actually they're spot on for balancing. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of dirt on them. Oh jeez, you know what that is? Let's say I don't go through too many brake pads. That is brake dust. <coughs> wow. So I'm going to wipe them down once in a while. But nothing is coming loose. Like these sinks here, like they weren't designed for this. They never come loose. And they actually do hold it really well to the bike. So that's a perfect design. They don't flop around. Um, as you can see, we got a little bit of wear in the wood. But that's why I use wood on the back of the box. Um... Is that coming loose? No, oh, it's just rubber behind it. 
But uh, the reason I used wood is because it'll wear. And then when it gets to the point where it wears right down or gets wet, obviously, and swells, I can just pry it off and glue another piece to it. Um, it's better than using rubber, I think, because wood will wear evenly. Same with this one. Uh, I was thinking these things would have failed long ago because of how close that rivet is to the hinge. Uh, it just seems to me to be a weak area. Plus, plus on this side there's actual a spring that's tensioned for this latch, and <laughs> these will not break. I like I hit a pothole for sure, thinking I was going to break one, doing 45, and you know that's a lot of weight on that bike. Uh, I, one thing I am finding that I've gone through is two tires so far, or two, uh, two tubes. I call them mystery flats because I couldn't find a hole. Well, I mean, I found the hole in the tube, but I couldn't find a hole uh, what caused the hole. I went through two, two tubes before, I guess, whatever was in the tire uh, fell out. But uh, I went through all the rigmarole of rubbing my hands on the inside of the tire looking for something sticking in it. Uh, the rim tape looked like it was really good. I, I don't know. It was just weird. Maybe it was just an effective tube. I really don't know. Anyway, these are good. Uh, let's take a quick look in here. Monitoring them. And um, this one's still a little warm. I still haven't got connectors for the connectors or the um, wiring loom coming out. I'm just using wire nuts for now doesn't seem to care <laughs> they're not overheating or anything uh, what I would like to find is something connector where I can slide the two ends butt ends and then um, tighten them up something that's solderless for something like that this one's a little bit harder build because of the cells but it's also not bad and these, 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 I've been through the, uh, the ringer of these things here. Like, I've been flying around quite a bit. And, uh, it's not botting me out or anything. Nothing to give me an indication that these are going to be a problem. It's like the wiring nuts, but other than that, it's fine. I think I saved probably about almost 500 bucks because I did it myself. But, uh, these are going to last a couple of years. I really take care of them. So, anyway, take it easy. I figured I, I shared the ride video. I should have actually shared. I wanted to share that with the video, but it would have made too long. So, make it separate. But, uh, put some effort into building your, your cells, and uh, they will survive stupid shit like that. Later.